So for the first time in a long time, I sat down last night and I worked on the quick shell configuration. Um, I managed to actually get the, the dock widgets working, fully working, fully functional. And uh, I set up what's called expand mode on the dock. So it goes from edge to edge and it turns basically into a taskbar, which you're able to apply any widget you want. So that means um, if you want a Windows familiar look on Quick Shell, it's now a thing. And it is the coolest thing ever. Like, it, it to be able to customize the dock any way that you want, to have a, wedge, a weather widget on the left side, or uh, I even turned the settings button into a widget, so now it's something you can add or remove. And like, it's, there's just so many endless options that you can do. I even added a center mode for the... Uh, where the applications are like pinned and stuff like that. So it's kind of like you can have this Windows 11 look and it, it's so cool. It really, really is. What I need to add next, I think, is the ability to put uh, widgets like there's left and then there's right. And in the center is where the applications are because it's originally a dock. But what if I add right next to the applications on both sides. So it's like far left, and then center left, center right, far right, giving even more options to add widgets. That would be really cool, because then you customize it even more. And there's just so many things I can do. Like, what if I make it so the dock can go on to, that, to the, the left side of the screen, or the right side of the screen, or the top? Right? And the panel, too. You know, left, right, or it can go on the bottom. There's just so many options that I could do. It's absolutely amazing. And the best part is, it's up on GitHub right now. And the coolest part is, I've added all the dependencies needed to get this to run. All of them. So basically, you run the install command for all the dependencies and stuff like that. And then you just like set the folder in .config for the hyper and the quick shell, and you basically log out and log into Hyperland, and that's it. It's pretty simple, straightforward, and easy. Now, uh, the Pico OS developer Ferraro said that he's going to be packaging my uh, quick shell with Pico OS, which is mind blowing to think about. So, uh, just one of those easy, out of the box type things to go with. I'm really excited, and I hope you guys are too, because this is amazing, huge news. Anyway, I hope your weekend is going great. Let me know how it is in the comments below. Wow. Bye, everybody.